Welcome to Recreating My Old Cringy Outfits Episode 2. If you guys haven't tuned into the first episode, I'm going to recap the parameters I follow. For the new recreated outfit, it either has to follow the same color blocking, the same item or items, or the same concept behind that outfit. So these videos are super fun to make and you guys can see how my style has changed over time. Remember, 2018 Johnny, bad. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be scrolling through my Instagram and picking out really bad outfits in my opinion. You guys might like those outfits, I doubt you will, but I probably won't like it because of the way it was composed or the, the mindset, the 2018 mindset that I had at the time that just didn't really work out and I don't really follow. But before that, this video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is light, sleek, and industrial, it suits me perfectly, and was designed to fit easily in your front pocket. No more of those thick 90s wallets with receipts sticking out and bulging out of your pants. No more falling on it and having it feel like you just got punched in the leg. It's made with RFID blocking technology to protect you from digital pickpocketers, and it's completely solid with a lifetime warranty and over 30,000 five-star reviews. There's screws attached to this thing, man. I personally have the titanium matte black with a muddy clip, but you can pick your choice on how you want to carry your cash. The Stonewash model is a pretty solid choice. These things hold up to 12 cards. There are plenty of colors or styles that will suit you, and you can test drive it for 45 days, and if you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. And you can get 10% off your Ridge wallet today by going to ridge.com slash tie and use code tie to apply that discount by hitting the link in the description and it makes a great holiday gift too. Once again, thank you Ridge Wallets for sponsoring this video and let's go and find a cringe outfit. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn on my screen recording that way you guys can see which outfit that I pick out. I'm gonna be scrolling through my Instagram, so posts I've already you know uploaded on, the, on my page and we're gonna pick out an outfit from there. Probably there's already some cringy outfits. There's gonna be no shortage of them, hence why this will be an ongoing series and it's kind of fun to me and I kind of have an idea for what I like to remake because it's pretty bad outfit. It actually was the top of 2019. That's last year, a year and 10 months ago. So, all right, so we're gonna roll with this outfit right here. There's a lot of things wrong with this outfit. I was very into that super drapey tee where it just drapes all the way down towards your mid thigh and it was just not a good look. This denim jacket is from Fashion Nova, which I am not a fan of, and I no longer have that. Nor do I have any of these items actually. These cargo pants, jogger cargo pants. Joggers were, gone in 2016 i decided to wear them in 2019 because they were cargos and then the vans old schools this is just a regular lifestyle old schools not the pro model and i don't even have old schools anymore um, because i left it back in new mexico basically i've always been into tank tops whenever it comes to layering hence why i recommend it for my fall essentials but i just don't think i did it right at all with this outfit um it's definitely just old pieces trying to be modernized to 2019 standards and it just did not work out. The color blocking is off. Whole outfit is just really bad in my opinion. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But we're gonna be recreating this outfit and let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so as you can see, I am taking the concept of a denim jacket, a tank top, and Vans. The OG fit is just trying too hard and it just comes off flat and meh. So what I did to recreate this fit is forget trying to make my fits more color blocked. It's okay to embrace a small color palette as you can focus on regional splashes of patterns or layers. Tank tops are an absolute must for this transition between the warmer and cooler temperatures, hence why I have this Airism one from Uniqlo. I recommend tanks because you don't get that type of collar with any regular tee. Old Johnny got this right before. The denim jacket comes from Express. Everyone's got a light blue denim jacket. That's cool, but this gray one is a great change of pace. It's super stretchy, has a lot of pockets, and is well worth the money because I think it's even more versatile than the blue one. The hat comes from Amazon, and I threw on a bandana from Levi's that I just picked up on Amazon as well just because I don't like when my collarbones just pop out. And like I said, regional patterns? I felt it was needed. And I also tried a simple gold chain with a jade pendant. That works too. The cargo pants come from 511 Tactical and it's by far the best bang for the buck for cargos. It has a DWR coating making it waterproof so it offers that performance for more technical wear but isn't too tech looking to where you can only stick to that lane. You can throw these on with a more skate streetwear outfit. Totally up to you. I really dig the way these fits and the extra stretch also helps with comfort and mobility. These are cuffed with some black crew socks leading to the van slip on. I really appreciate these pants cuffed with black crew socks as well because yes it's relaxed but the crew socks blends in and it breaks up the silhouettes of the pants to your ankles leading to the vans. Always like
like this look, think of it like a latte. Instead of mixing the steamed milk and the espresso for a uniform drink, like a uniform taper, having the layers of cream and espresso separated makes the drink a lot more interesting. Colored crew socks would have worked as well with this outfit, but I wanted to keep it one silhouette with a pop of gray from the jacket. The Vans are just normal comfy cushion Vans, very versatile sneaker, and in my opinion, better than the old schools. All right, so what did you guys think of that outfit? I hope you like the change. It's not really the same color blocking, but it's the same concept and somewhat of the same piece. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. For this next outfit, we are gonna go to my archived. Okay, I did upload this, but I archived it because it was that bad. This is the definition of cringe for me. We're gonna go to the archive posts. I see it right here. This outfit right here, man. I did not do the Akron and Prestos justice. All right, I'm rocking. <laughs> I'm rocking a pair of skinny denim, skinny black denim with Akron and Prestos. I tried reverse layering with that same tee because I was like, oh, I know reverse layering and it just did not look good. I'm wearing a, <laughs> a zipper hoodie. This was the, the Fear of God third collection uh, inspired type of zipper hoodie. God, it's terrible. And then a camera backpack. I mean, look at the way I was posing too. I did not know how to model back then. And I know in the edits, I just brightened up the yellow just to make sure people looked at the shoes. And oh my God, this is just a terrible photo, terrible outfits, terrible pose. Everything about this photo deserved to be archived. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what my mindset was back then whenever, whenever it came to putting together this outfit, because normally you're just like, okay, Akron and Prestos, I should probably go more tech. A pair of Jordan 1s, maybe I should go for the more street look, but this one, I have no idea what I was doing. So let's go ahead and recreate this outfit. I will not be wearing a, you know, any type of sling bag or anything because I've been doing that a lot. Um, so it's just gonna be the, I'm gonna follow the same color blocking as well as the same sneakers. So let's go ahead and check it out. So for this outfit, I really had to make it up to the Prestos. I wanted to add technical elements while keeping the outfit more street. So it's a hybrid of street and tech which represents my current interests of style. Simple Amazon beanie, hella cheap. Hoodie is a plain black one from Essentials, but you can get one from anywhere. This is way better than that quarter zip one and will never go out of style. The zipper one was too much, man. 2015 to 2017 was a weird time for zippers. And instead of reverse layering a stupid shirt underneath, I layered the hoodie with the Uniqlo ultralight down vest. You want to go with the ultra light down one because it's just as warm but won't make you look too puffy. I find this combination quite tasteful and if I had other colored hoodies I'd try and find a similar colored vest as well. Pants are from Orbit Gear, my favorite brand for more technical gear, you know slings, shells, pants, they've got everything. I like these pants because there's an insane amount of storage, you definitely won't be using all the pockets at once but it's nice to have extra space, especially because we're carrying hand sanitizer and extra face masks nowadays. These have a track pants type of feel, but also has those techie vibes. Great fit, not too tapered, has a wider leg opening so it can accommodate a lot more sneakers, slim and chunky. And of course, the Prestos. Definitely a shoe you only see on the gram and not in person. You really don't see on the gram anymore actually, which is why you should pick one up. Nobody wears these. And that's it. Followed the all black vibe I was going for before, only I have better hair. The outfit has more depth, and I kind of know how to model it. <laughs> Who knows? This fit might be cringe next year, and I'll end up and I'll end up remaking it next year. Who knows? All right, guys, what did you guys think of those recreated outfits? Let me know which one was your favorites, and if you guys like this series, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at FlowerJohnnyTai. Find a, a cringy outfit to you that maybe I can remake in the future. Check out the Ridge Wallet; it's a perfect gift for the holiday season. And don't forget to subscribe.